there shipmates and welcome to another video brought to you by the 5 Minute Mariner. My name is Martin and I am one of the content creators here at the 5 Minute Mariner and today we will be discussing the basics of a ship's rudder. In this lesson we will explain the principles of why a ship turns and which way it turns depending upon how the rudder is moved. So let's start with the basics. A vessel's rudder is most commonly found at the back or the stern of the vessel. In this example, the size of the rudder has been exaggerated to make it easier to visualise. As the vessel moves forward through the water, a flow of water moves from front to back or from bow to stern and across both sides of the rudder. Now, with close attention to the rudder, as the water flows past, the water molecules interact and strike both sides of the rudder. This causes a force on both sides of the rudder, and this force increases depending upon how fast the vessel is moving. The force hitting both sides of the rudder creates a pressure, and pressure is the key principle of how a rudder functions. If we move the rudder to the right, or to the starboard side, you can see that the flow on the left hand side is not affected. This means there is little to no contact of water molecules against this side. However, when we compare the flow on the right hand side, you can see that the amount of water molecules hitting this side has increased because the flow of water is being blocked. This is key because this creates a difference in pressure. On the left hand side of the rudder, the flow is not blocked and so there is little to no force on this side and hence a low pressure. On the right hand side, the flow is blocked and so there is a large force on this side and hence a high pressure. So if we leave the rudder in this configuration, it creates an imbalance of pressure and so another force will occur to try and balance the pressures. Remember, pressure moves from high to low never the other way. The force created, which we will call the balancing force, pushes on the side blocking the flow of water, just like holding your hand out of a moving car's window. As the rudder is fixed to the ship and won't move, the only thing that can change to balance the pressure is for the ship itself to move, and in this case it will turn to starboard. If the rudder is left in this position, the pressure will never balance and so the vessel will continue to turn until the rudder is moved back to the centre position. For a ship moving forward, there are only three possibilities. If the rudder is moved to starboard, the difference in pressure will turn the ship to starboard. If the rudder is in the centre position, the pressure on both sides is equal and so there is no force trying to turn the ship. If the rudder is moved to port, the difference in pressure will turn the ship to port. And that's it. Simple. The main points to remember are that the rudder is used to turn the ship. Moving the rudder to either side creates a difference in pressure, which in turn creates a force that will try to balance the pressure. The force will cause the ship to turn to port or starboard until the rudder is centralised. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content.